you know, <laughs> we were both on Supernatural earlier, early in the uh, series, and uh, we, so we started on the, the uh, convention circuit early, um, and uh, since like 2008, 2009, um, and we started doing a lot of stuff together on the circuits, uh, mostly because we got each other's sense of humor really well, and that translated well on stage at these conventions. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, out of that sort of came Minor Richards, you know, all of these experiences, traveling the world together, doing these things, and we've compiled a lot of stories, and it, we were like, at some point, we were like, we gotta, we gotta shoot this, there's a, there's, a, there's a story to tell here. Yeah, for sure. So we did. Rob wrote the first couple scenes there, I bought a camera, and <laughs> shot it. I mean, yeah. it's as simple as that, and then we put it together and chopped it around. Uh, Obviously, use crowdfunding with great success, thanks to the incredible support and passion of the Supernatural fan base. And the f sort of fervor created by that campaign uh, got us uh, meetings with, with Lionsgate, and, and who was launching a digital platform with Comic-Con HQ called, well, they're launching with Comic-Con, Comic and now it's called Comic-Con Comic -Con HQ, and that's where our show meets. Well, I, don't, I can tell you the, the something that made it in that's one of my favorites is uh, the, the 911 story that, that was, I think, last week's episode, or the week before that. Anyway, I, I uh, tried to call Rich, who was staying in room 911, and uh, accidentally called 911, and the police came to our door, and uh, that right away when that happened, we were like, you know, this we wrote it down like this is gold. Like I can't believe this actually happened to us. Um, so we immediately wrote that into the story, and uh, uh, that's one of my faves. Did you? you could, that's how out of the loop I am, but you guys already ran the Josh Myers episode, right? Yeah, that just aired. So that I don't know if you guys went into this in the show because I missed the last after show, but that whole episode was born out of Tim Amundsen's love of potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so I mean, that's a bizarre. Yeah. You know. That's just the, I was wondering that. <laughs> yeah, Tim Allison, who got in fat, who just had a field day on a plate of au gratin potatoes at a big dinner one time, and we started calling him Timmy au gratin, and it bugged the crap out of him, and so we wrote the episode, it's kind of inspired the episode, yeah. or at least that joke of it. Yeah. A lot of people like to micromanage for no reason, but Comic-Con and Lionsgate have been very, very quick to, to say, it's your vision, it's your show, go do your thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Like Robbie and I started compiling just the goofy things that would happen would just keep a list and I'm going text chain basically. So, yeah, so we, yes, we're always... And we're still doing that. I mean, that, that has not changed. You know what's changed is now all, all the actors we work with have all seen our show and they're like, this, you want to think this be good in your show? Like, no, other people are having the ideas. You know? A couple fans have done that to me too. Oh, yeah? yeah. yeah. We're not, this is not a documentary. It's not reality TV. So even if we saw something that somebody else was doing, if we took it and did something with it, it wouldn't reflect on that person. It's its own... Yeah, it's we, have a, we have a pretty good vibe on like what, you know, we, we've been very careful with this show, uh, like Rich said, to not make it reality and to paint everyone in the right light. You mm -hmm. know, you don't want to, we don't want to make fun of our actor friends. Uh, we're we're in this well, to just... I mean, wait. <laughs> We don't mind. Here's the thing. We, we have, don't mind gentle ribbon. Right. And we, the truth of the matter is, Robbie and I are playing heightened versions of ourselves, but the most the majority of the characters are characters. We, we utilize their best talents. We knew how to write for them, but they're not playing themselves. And so we, we can get away with taking some of this reality and putting it through our fiction machine and, and turning turning it into good, solid humor right. without worrying about stepping on anybody's toes. Yeah, and you know what happened a couple times is when actors would come on and we had written something for them um, and they might have like a suggestion of how to do something different or um, you know make something funnier or paint it in a different light and we were always open to that. So um, yeah, that's never ever been a problem. It's, it's fun to write characters like Sebastian's character or Gil McKinney's character or Matt, Matt Cohen who yeah. plays basically the opposite of himself but it's so funny to see him do that a-hole <laughs> guy. You know? I mean Rich and I are good partners and uh, you know I think this creative relationship will definitely continue. Right now, King's Con is getting all of our attention. Yeah, so that, and that, that, our immediate future is making that show the biggest and best show it can be. You know? mm -hmm.